<laughs> the great good of the business community will be gathering in London to talk about our economic future, won't they, Steph? Yes, they certainly will. This is the annual conference of the Confederation of British Industry. Good morning, everyone. This is the organisation which represents over 200,000 companies in the UK. So as you can imagine, it's monitored closely by the officials here. Well, today the CBI will be calling on the government to increase our exports, saying it could give the UK economy a £20 billion lift by 2020. Well, we spoke to one business in Devon, which is already doing its bit. My name is Charles Bourne. I'm Managing Director of Westaway Sausages in Devon. We export to 30 countries. Expanding into exports has really helped our business. It's brought us real innovation in our products. We've had to think more about our packaging. We've had to think about how our product is actually presented in a foreign market. And in turn, that's really helped us here in the UK. We've taken on extra staff. We've thought more about our products. No longer do we are competing against people in Newton Abbott. We're competing against people in Hong Kong. I think the government can help small businesses like us. So maybe look at tax credits, some form of incentivising small businesses like ours to take that jump into exports. Makes you want a sausage sandwich, doesn't it? Or maybe not. Well, with me now is Neil Bentley, who's Di Deputy Director General of the CBI. Good morning to you, Neil. Good morning. So you want to see more exporting in the UK. How can we do that? Well, I think that's just been a brilliant example of where you know some companies are actually doing it for themselves. But what we've seen over the past 10 years is a real drop in our export performance. So what we need to do is reorientate ourselves and think about where we're exporting to. Um, most of our exports at the moment are going to the Eurozone. What we've got to do is look beyond beyond that to high growth economies, India, China, Brazil and other places that are coming through now. Yeah, that's the key, isn't it? Because there's no point sending our stuff to countries where they haven't got any money to buy it. So we need to focus more on countries where they do, where they're growing. Absolutely. And you, you look at the trouble the Eurozone's in at the minute. So we've got to, to look at high growth economies like Vietnam, South Korea, Turkey. And these are all places where people are demanding new goods and services that we have to offer. OK, so what can we make or sell that they would want to buy? Well, increasingly, as in China, for example, where we're seeing a middle class coming through and high, high end consumerism, we're seeing a boon in things like construction services for financial services, um, high-tech goods, nanotechnology. These are all component parts that um, the, the, the boon in consumer goods is going to need. And we've got that in spades. So we really need to be making sure that we're supporting companies and the government and business community can support companies to get access to those markets mm -hmm. and get in there and sell their goods. Isn't there a danger, though, that we, like we've seen in the past, where we make products and then someone else decides to make them cheaper than us and undercuts us and then we lose the manufacturing or we lose the, the stuff we make? Well, I think this is much more about uh, making sure we get in there early and making sure we're identifying uh, where those new markets are going to be. And what we need the government to do is help support that through UKTI, its marketing board, and um, to make sure that's much more commercially focused and helping business uh, get the opportunities that it needs on the ground so that it can get in there first. You say you want government help. We've seen in the past uh, David Cameron took a delegation of business leaders to China did it make much difference? Did we get many more orders from that? I think um, those sorts of trips are really useful in helping introduce uh, our business leaders to the right people. But they've also got to make sure that you know it's not just one-off trips. It's consistently uh, going back and forwards and making sure you, you know, you're going local. You can recruit the right talent locally. You're meeting the right people on the ground. And as the sausage manufacturer is saying, it's innovating in market, making sure that you understand the market you're in and that you can innovate and adapt your products and services services to local conditions. And the Prime Minister will be speaking at your conference later on today. Right. He's expected to talk about how we can bring down our debts but still grow. Do you think we can? Yes, I think we can. That's why the CBI has been banging on about uh, medium-sized businesses because these are going to be the growth gazelles in our economy. They're going to create jobs for the future. But also we need the government to come forward in the Chancellor's statement next week talking about private sector investment in infrastructure, in roads, for example, where we need to see more toll roads uh, to make sure that we can get shovel-ready projects on the go so that we can help create jobs in the construction supply chain, for example. And we need to help young people into work as well by by giving them a boost and getting them on the jobs ladder. And those are the sort of things we think can give a real kickstart to the economy. OK, Neil, thank you very much for your time. Neil Bentley there from the Confederation of British Industry. And I'm going to be looking at the markets a bit later to see how they fared last week. And that's it for All me right. for now. Thank, thank you, thank you Steph. Very much. See you later on.